Uh, I love this sauna, sorry, country. It is a... Uh, <laughs> like, uh, me and Joe went to a nightclub the other day. We went to a nightclub. We went to a nightclub where you couldn't dance. <laughs> Have you been to these places? There's a nightclub with pumping music where you're not allowed to dance. That's crazy. There's literally, there's a DJ who goes like, everyone put your hands in the air, but not too high because of COVID. So, uh, <laughs> there, was there was a guy in the club that's literally, like his only job in the club was to make sure people aren't having too much fun. There was a guy walking around the club, as soon as you stand up, he just taps you on the shoulder and he's like, sorry, excuse me, sir. I think you're having too much fun. Please sit down. Like, how do you even get that job? How, 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 do you, how do you apply? What, what kind of job interview is that? But they just go like, uh, what are your strengths? And he just goes, uh, I think you asked that question too enthusiastically. <laughs> Fucking hired, we love you. <laughs> and they're serious. We saw a guy, there was a guy kicked out. The guy got kicked out for breakdancing. I mean, I say breakdancing, he had an epilepsy attack. But um, <laughs> they didn't care, they were really strict. They were like, he's having too much fun, kick him out. I went to a bar, this is actually one I went to a bar, and uh, they were like, uh, do you want to, I was like, uh, can I have a beer? And they were like, yeah, which one? And I was like, uh, can I get a local one? And they were like, this is Dubai. We don't have it. I was like, uh, can I get some workers' rights? And they were like, no, we don't have any of that either. <laughs> yeah, too harsh, really? This is what this, you guys make no sense to me. What are you bowing at this thing? What are you bowing? What are you doing? What are you doing, people? Think about it. You shouldn't be wooing either. You got no rights. You should be just a quiet laugh. No need for it. It's crazy. It's a, it's, uh, it's a crazy place. I think we, we did find out that 70% of the uh, people here are guys, right? 70% of people living in Dubai are guys, and they're still like, oh, how come people are gay? I'm like, fucking get them options. <laughs> <laughs> I know there's a, there's a minister of happiness here as well. Yes. A minister, that is a tough job. <laughs> it's a tough job. I mean, like, what, what, what else can she do? Like, it's 365 days of the year, it's sunny. You don't pay income tax, and there's hookers everywhere. And I'm like, how can it get better? I'm glad my dad doesn't have that job. My dad couldn't be the minister of that. My dad, my dad literally every day tells me, you cannot make everybody happy. Which is bizarre because he's a clown. <laughs> you cannot make everybody happy. That balloon, is, that dog is not a balloon. Your mother's a prostitute and everyone will die. <laughs> quack, quack. <laughs> Are you a clown? <laughs> driverless Metro, that's also something we found out here. That you guys have the longest automated driverless metro system in the world. That's crazy. You, you got a $50 billion machine that gets me to a boat that costs one dirham. And I'm like, that is... <laughs> that's great. And that's why I can't believe it. It's an automated, like, you know. And then, like, every hotel has an automatic door and there's still a door on there. Uh -huh. and I'm like, <laughs> can at least be consistent. It's <laughs> that's cool. I like it, yeah? I also did find out you guys know what the national animal of, uh, of uh, the, the Emirates is. You guys know? Is it not the oryx? I was surprised. The oryx antelope, that fact. I was really surprised. I would have thought that it's going to be a bird covered in oil. Like, uh, I think animals. I think. What are you guys doing here? What are you doing? I think, uh, I think animals should be more represented, like the national animals should be more representative of the country. Like, I think the Polish national animal should be an eagle, but like an eagle that was beaten up by its husband. You know what I mean? Like, uh, there's a lot of domestic abuse in Poland, is what I'm saying. And on related news, there's also a lot of women that don't listen to what they're fucking told. So, uh, <laughs> you know, I'm still losing you? Yeah, easy. Easy. Alright. Alright.
reactions are so strange to me. <laughs> sometimes you're booing, sometimes you're clapping, and I'm like, what is this? It's true though, you don't pay national, there's no uh, income tax here, right? Guys don't pay income tax, that's crazy. In Poland, you don't pay income tax once you get a liberal arts degree, but that's because you don't have any income. So, uh, <laughs> do you guys ever miss complaining about taxes? Do you ever miss like just being like, ah, oh, these fucking immigrants coming over using our roads that I'm not paying for? <laughs> And everyone's using these hospitals that I've not paid for either. Fucking <laughs> immigrants everywhere, and I'm like, oh, but you're an immigrant. Nah, I'm an expat. <laughs> come here to work. <laughs> you come here to work? Nah, that's what I've been doing for the last 12 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Don't have to be a show off. <laughs> Uh, you guys are cool. I feel like, uh, is there any Polish people here, by the way? Are there any Polish people? No, obviously not. Tickets were too expensive. Uh, 